starring John and Danny. Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to Grim After Dark. Uh, my name is John, and this is the Frontline Gaming Network's weekly interview show where we hit the high points of the last week in the Warhammer community, talk to the best players and content creators from around the world about the one thing we all love, which is, you know, Warhammer. Uh, this week, Val has been forced to come down from his ivory tower to talk to us lowly peons and graciously allowed us to ask him anything. Um, boy, did the Frontline Gaming community not disappoint. Um, or they did really depending on your moral compass or what you think a good question is. Um, that's not for me to tell you at all. Anyway, my co-host today needs some introduction. Uh, he's the terror of the mid-tables. He's an aspiring overlord and is someone who definitely doesn't want to know LVO is only 39 days away. Uh, it's Danny McDevitt. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Danny? 39 days? Uh, God. 39 days from today is the Friday of LVO, not even the Thursday when we get to be there. Uh, it's it's coming up quick. Hey, do okay. you have an entire army to paint as well? Cool. Enjoy no, the... I don't. No. You suck. Uh, Danny, we love it when our listeners leave us five-star reviews. They like, comment, subscribe, do whatever they want to do, unless it's on YouTube, in which case you guys can pound sand. Uh, but I want to bring attention Damn. to this review. Okay. Uh, it's uh, The title of the review is Infomercial. The new format sounds a lot like infomercials in, t in, in TV rather than a 40K podcast. The aggressive, upbeat tone and fast manner of speech would be better suited to hawking shamwiles rather than talking about a strategy game. Also, Kicker is incredibly annoying to listen to. Danny, what's your opinion on this incredibly bad take? Bro, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like what, what are we supposed to just, I don't know. If our manner of speaking is fast, like we're we're hawking goods, what what does that even mean? What a stupid also, comment! I'm pretty sure that the Sham Wow guy got jailed for doing some nasty stuff uh, that not even a Sham Wow could clean away. Also, I want to point out. I think my favorite thing about this quote: one uh, kicker is in quotes, like that's a fake made up name. Right. That's that's not that's his real name. I think I said in, in another like uh, front like frontline community uh, uh, post earlier this week. That if you were to give Kicker a fake name, it would be like James Smith or something yeah, like or that. Or like, be like Hal Vefelfinger. Who knows? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's, I, uh, all these could be. Well, I know. Yeah. Everyone on this network uses 100% their real legal name. Uh, and there is no one else there, uh, outside of that. Yeah. Um, and hey, that's guys, look us up on Court View. You can yeah, see all the sure. active cases against <laughs> us. I mean, I'm. You sure can. Yeah. That bad check from 2005 just doesn't go away. Uh, Kicker is also a phenomenal person. He has an amazing voice. You can hear him every Wednesday on Signals from the Frontline, where he co-hosts with a person that we promised to stop mentioning. Uh, so we won't. Uh, we will assist and desist. We will not use his name on things. Yeah, anymore. aforementioned person won't be mentioned on our show anymore. Yeah, not going to mention that yeah. name at all. Well, Ever. I'll see. Now we've gone down. What, no. what name? What are you talking about? Not going to mention s at all. Uh, yeah. The other co-host. John. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn it, I did it again. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, post a wait, call my... John, you're going to have to slow it down a little bit. You're way too upbeat <laughs> <laughs> and positive. I'm going to need you to take it down a second and be as cynical as every other veteran war gamer, okay? Okay. Well, that's going to be hard because this yeah. next one is about my childlike wonder. Uh, a post to call my eye on the old Facebooks. <laughs> is, is this guy right here? Uh, we asked anyone else play poor hammer with this table setup, <laughs> which is like we're laughing, but my literal favorite thing. Uh, there oh, is yeah, man. like there is kitchen towel rolls. There is just bottles of paint. There's a lightsaber, I think, or a weed plant uh, grower. Do I I to know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a couple of joy toys, maybe. Uh, yeah, those are good proxies. I heard. Day, uh, of poor hammer. Uh, before we started chasing the man dragon, I'm going to stop to let that, that sink in and breathe because if we go too fast, it's too positive about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, Daddy, do, do you have any uh, poor hammer memories? Oh, yeah. So when I first started playing, I played on a dry erase. Or no, it was a wet erase, like, board turned on its side where we would draw the bases and mark what they were because we were too poor to, like, afford the actual miniatures. 
Uh, and eventually, like squads would start replacing models and things like that, and you'd be using the real stuff. But man, <laughs> it was poor hammer for sure. Yeah, I was I was the pile of textbooks underneath yep. uh, that nice. green mat to make a hill. Yeah, it was classic times. It is love that, and now I spend hundreds of dollars on plastic terrain that I don't paint. Um, anyway. <laughs> Guess what, Danny? New models are being teased even in this festive week. <laughs> okay. Um, Maybe I will. New models are being teased, and it would be a real shame if it was revealed that this model was actually a stunning new multi part Gravis Captain. Hell as yeah. this would lead to someone putting roughly 30 minutes into photoshopping squats and joy toys into this scene for absolutely no payoff. <laughs> um, Danny, what are your thoughts, though, on the Gravis Captain that we're seeing? I'm, I'm excited. Like, first of all, this guy's going to need a new data sheet, right? Like, He's got weapons that he that he can't normally have. Like he's got the chain sword. He also has the power fist, apparently. Whatever that does. Um, yeah, double fisting. Yeah. Hey, who doesn't like <laughs> who, who doesn't like a nice drive? To, you know, a nice drive down to Pound Town. You know, like everybody likes that. It's the next wave of joy toys, my friend. That's right. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really ex- actually those Terminators look really cool. I'm I'm probably gonna get those. Those are neat. And oh, also I was gonna the, say, the dude with the thunder hammer is so poseable, right? Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, he's cool. I was going to say, finally tonight, the rumor engine has been chucking a lo- um, chuckling along all month on Warhammer Community with a lot of Aldari and a lot of Chaos stuff being previewed. I think my favorite thing to read was that it was just a big uh, April Fool's joke and all the Chaos stuff being previewed was just close up shots of all the old Dark Vengeance models, which... If you, Which, one, I mean, one, please, please make it this way. Please just make it the way you announced that this is the start collecting Space Marine. Because the collective internet salt from that announcement would oh fuel the show for literal months. I would have to do little to no thought. Um, but, uh, oh, I love it. <laughs> Danny, this rumor mail one has me stumped, though. Uh, and okay. I was wondering if you have any idea what we're looking at here. Oh, okay. Uh, I've seen this before, John. Uh, so oh, that's yeah. actually, yeah, it's, <laughs> I definitely have. It's actually uh, the a different mark of Eldari Soulstone like holder. So, like where they have their waystone set, this <laughs> is a different way that you can store, that you can keep your Soulstone close to your body. Yeah. So the soul travels down the body and out into the Soulstone. Precisely. Kind of me for that there, fired right? out of there like some kind yeah, of just rocket. fired out of there. <laughs> some gassy souls. Um, <laughs> finally, before we we bring on our guests here, we're gonna just pay some bills. Uh, the Cherokee Open is coming. Uh, if you guys want to be on the ground floor of the first major ITC event of the season, uh, February twenty fifth through the twenty seventh on the Cherokee Reservation, just a few miles away from the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, It's a perfect weekend retreat in an epic resort up in the mountains attached to a convention center. Uh, Hosting us is an entertainment center with a bowling alley, arcade, multiple bars and restaurants. Uh, Get discounted rooms by booking as part of the Frontline Gaming Room Block. Oh, yeah. 40K Championship. uh, One of the largest events kick off the new ITC season following LVO in January. Get your tickets today. Danny, now I'm realizing. What's that? That's just an infomercial. Just with a different name. You were so fast at delivery. <sighs> Dang it. it. I was, was so positive so and happy upbeat. that it was a yeah. 40K event. It's Man. almost like sometimes we we mention things uh, <laughs> that we're really excited about because there's a nice network that hosts us to do these ridiculous things. Who even knows? It's anyway, Danny. What? It's like how magnets work. It is a mystery. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> And then Tomodachi Express, thank you. So I combine that salt with how good Craft Worlds look, and you could uh, damn the Mediterranean. Oh, uh, yeah, Craft Worlds I'm is going to so keep excited. the show in business through July. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Danny, why don't you introduce our guest? Okay. Well, you know him, you love him. Sometimes you hear him every episode, or he makes the entire show about himself, which is great. We love, we love this person. He's broadcasting tonight directly from the seventh layer of hell. Um which I think is frozen, but it, this will be on fire because, you know, I mean, relatively where he is and frozen, it'll be roughly the same thing. Anyway, so tonight we're pleased to welcome Val to the show. Only you, only you would call this mirthful Yule log a, a ring of hell. So is you the cynic. Subtle, is... You goddamn cynic. So are you literally in the fire though? Yeah. Like, are you burning? For those listening to us, because this is a live. I don't know. Uh, I don't have nerve endings. All right. And again, I'm a I'm floating head. 
<laughs> We're going to sham wow this up for a second. He does need uh, to my net, guys. <laughs> a live video cast every Monday night. If you were listening to the podcast uh, or not a visual version, Right now, you're, we're not looking at uh, the aforementioned Val Heffelfinger, creative director of the Frontline Gaming Network. Uh, we are looking at an animated servo skull inside a literal fire. Uh, if you think the end of Terminator 2, that, that's pretty similar to what we're seeing here. Just a I know not why you cried. Up. No. I, don't know, uh, I don't know why you had to draw a distinction and call this animated. I mean, quite clearly, this is cutting edge uh, animation. Uh, 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 yeah, animation. I got no other words for it. Put it wide. in my head. You know, they really have made the technology that brought Gollum from the books to the big screen available <laughs> to everyone now, haven't they? With this motion Andy's capture technology. Biggest ripoff, perhaps in Oscars history. And uh, Forrest Gump beating Pulp Fiction. And then Andy Serakis? Serakis? Andy yeah, I was going to say, Serakis. what you guys don't know is uh, not getting the Oscar. Directly portrayed yeah. by Andy Serkis and in the- <laughs> In- Sorry, <laughs> this is an important point. <laughs> this Val is the important part. Neglected to mention. Uh, there's like right down 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 here. There's a green screen which covers Andy Circus's body and is in the right. movement. We can't Val. afford to have him speak on, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the exactly. show. <laughs> it's a non-union thing. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a little deal. side hustle he's doing. Well, Val tried to get like the full body green suit, but the one just wouldn't fit him that that he had brought with him. So. <laughs> We had to get Andy or, Circus. There's only actually one of those green suits in Hollywood. There is an amazing, uh, uh, like behind the scenes. I want to say it's the Matrix. It's like the famous scene where he's he's like bullet timing and like ducking behind everything, and like one of the dudes in the green suits is like me or you, Danny. Like it is just a very large, <laughs> lumpy man in a in a full like like full gimp you green suit. You're not a lumpy like, man. Get I'm out lumpy. of here with that. I'm lumpy. You have, hey, you don't know what COVID's done to me. I've turned myself into a cartoon. I'm evergreen now. I'm eating Hagen dazs I'm having a great time. <laughs> oh, yeah, green manning it up. Uh, the reason we brought you on here, uh, we wanted sort of like a... Hold on, before we continue, this, I, yeah, I just have I'm to sorry. say something. This, this visage here <laughs> sure. is brought to us by, uh, by Richard... Not last name. He actually asked that we no longer use his full name. Oh, <laughs> so hey, that was wow. good catch. No, that, also, that's a assist, I guess. also, it's definitely still in the show notes. My bad. Uh, but wouldn't you guys both agree? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, we'll you guys, out. <laughs> wouldn't you guys both agree that this would be way better if I could just, you know, just look to the left or to the right? Like, just not even like, like you know, just, oh, just flip. God. If the image would just flip. You know, maybe that'd be I got, better. I gotta say, I was very specifically told I have to stop messaging you guys bizarre ideas at ridiculous times. And this Who is who specifically ever time. said anything and anything I'm involved with. There's no, there's no. That's fair. That's there, fair. There's no it was, absolutes. Uh, Tractacular Richard uh, that, that told me it's you know between nine and five. That's office hours for ridiculous requests. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yes, traditional office hours, excellent time to get <laughs> Richard to actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> but chat. Not be, busy or anything. Definitely chat, watch Signals from the front line this Wednesday. Be sure to let Richard know you want Val to be able to flip left and right. Don't even give any context. Just left, right. That's all the comment you want to put in there. Yep. Leave, leave a five-star review. <laughs> yeah, leave a five-star review comment. Left, right. ShamWow. You're going to love my nuts. <laughs> you guys remember that one? That was the yeah, best one. Classic one. And by the way, oh, you were uh, you were misremembering, uh, I believe. So there was uh, the ShamWow. Uh, there, there was uh, the ShamWow guy. Well, anyway, he got his nose bit by a hooker on an airplane. Yep. That's yep. what happened. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, as as you do, uh, escort or you know, probably nicer way to say that. But if if you're getting your nose bit. You're probably not going to say something not like, like the highest sex over. worker. You're going to say hooker at least. Yeah, for sure. Um, so guess, also, Daddy. if you're if, if you're in a situation where you've done something to provoke having your nose bit by your paid <laughs> escort on an airplane, you, you, you're going to need to you know question some life choices that you've made, made along the way. Wrong steps. Yep. The most economical way to do it is to just pick up your escort at your destination. That saves you a plane ticket. I'm just saying. That, that's how it wow. goes. Sham wow. You're going to love my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> 
the reason we brought Val on, uh, we didn't want reason? to hand her to you guys to have like a typical Christmas episode. Other people would do some ridiculous thing like talk about Christmas movies or try and pander to different things. We're not going to do that. Nope. Uh, we were like, let's just ask Val questions. Uh, so to we business. Was, Straight to business. We reached out to the Frontline Gaming community and be like, hey, ask Val anything. And boy, did you guys. And no, some of those I will not read. Uh, but a lot of them I will. <laughs> okay, give me one of those ones. Give me one of those ones. You want one of those ones right now? Like yep. mid-intro? Give me one that you were like, not reading that. Give me that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and in advance. Uh, sorry, Tyler. Uh, which 40k <laughs> special character do you think has the best tasting sperms? Wow. Wow. wow coming in hot man like Jeez. you're gonna you lead you with that me. you lead you with that you who let you host you. this show Jeez, louise i mean I it's not angron you know he's he's <laughs> he's, he's all uh, it's all no the protein. adrenaline yeah that's gonna that's gonna be sour sour stuff uh who has a good lifestyle wow. in the 41st millennium like who's Who's out there eating kiwis and avocados? Like, I feel like everyone's just having some sort of protein slurry and hoping well, for the best. I would say a Tau ethereal has a pretty good life. Oh, right. We can go outside of uh, just the well, humanoid. Well, I don't know. It's, everything's don't, asexually reproduced in 40K. So I don't know. Like, if, yeah, I don't know what they do. I don't know what the, what the method what the to their madness do? is. Yeah. One would I'm going to bet the they just... Like I'm going to bet they just... I bet it's just mitosis. They probably do they just do a, split like a half. cloaca handshake? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A good firm handshake with a penetrating look in the eye. It's, That's where Tau yep. come from. Look. That's good. Uh, um, we also did found we answer? Some... Not Angron. All right. No. Never one of Not those Angron questions ever answer. again. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> just doing what my boss told me to do. Uh, we're also looking up some of the, the worst questions I found on Quora, which is a web resource I found where anyone can ask questions about anything. And did you create has- an account? Because every time I link to Quora, it's like, hey, create an account. You can read about all these good questions. And I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered. You know, I didn't. I just took screenshots of all the questions I thought were the worst. And then I would go back <laughs> without having no 50,000 pop-ups. Take that no. system. Excellent. Take that. All right. So Lay them on me. And, and, you know, I didn't show Danny any of these questions uh, either. So this is ask anything to the... Sorry, you know, there's the another question. person on this show? I didn't realize. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're no, facing sometimes- me. You're facing me. What? I mean, if if only yeah. you could look at me, but you can't flip left or right. I can do this one. We can just we can just we can just push. Dan- I was whenever I go to the screen, I feel like Danny's feelings are hurt. No, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, all I right, feel left all right, out. All right, all right. Don't but, be so sensitive. All right, that's Thanks. fair. But I didn't I didn't share any of these questions beforehand with Danny. So we're looking for Danny your hot takes on this as well, uh, which I know you're famed for the original hot takes uh, on the the most serious of questions. It's true. Um, and then yeah, just just let me know what you guys think. Pop so this quiz hot shot. Time. Who's got a literal fire in their screen? I mean, I would be no concerned one. With Danny. No one. Podcast <laughs> listeners, they don't know. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, um, who owns the IP rights to Obi Wan Sherlock Clouseau? Asking for a friend, George L. Um, I will say a lot of these are from people, uh, so we were going to run into that there a lot. I was expecting to ask a question like that. Who? We're not allowed to mention sir uh, from Signals from the Front Line. We have a cease and desist <laughs> against men from the YouTube channel. Did he write he it says, himself or did he have one of his distinct. trained animals do it? He says, he says it's uh, pathetic that we fall back on him so much. And then he spat on us from afar. <laughs> wow. 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 That's, not that's, true. Uh, that's pretty stuff. classy, though. If he did that, that I would is. be kind of impressed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel too. like the answer to that question is rhetorical. Clearly, Disney owns the rights to that character. <laughs> but that's just because Disney owns the rights to everything. I feel. That's why it was rhetorical. Yeah. Oh. Um, here, here's a somewhat serious one for you guys. Um, oh, no. I will say it, I, it sent me the answers randomly. So even though it says part one at the start, I have no idea where part two is. Uh, <laughs> part one. <laughs> Dope. What is something we can add to the competitive ITC setting to spice things up? Mm. Let's start with you, Danny. Anti. So did you say anti? Like betting? Like- like Auntie. your mom's yeah, sister? Like, yeah, like betting the betting your models. <laughs> no, like your aunt. <laughs> yeah, no. What are you doing? Yeah. Why are you moving there? Don't deploy there. 
<laughs> it's so cute when you play with your plastic spaceman. They're Death Templars, mom. Ancestors. So, yeah. last She's LTO I played in, I rolled mm -hmm. up to the table, and there was a guy playing Tyranid Warriors. I've told this story a hundred times. Anyone who's heard me has probably heard me tell this story. But it's Tyranid Warriors, and I'm like, this guy's a joke. I'm going to roll him. It's Alex oh, no. McDougal. It was Alex McDougal, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> no one knew who that was yet, or at least I certainly didn't. And uh, he absolutely dummied me. I then play in the second round of that LVO, a guy who had brought his entire family with him. And he was, like, literally, oh, no. it was him, his brother, his mom, and another sibling all behind them. And his oh, brother wow. on an iPad just checking my work. And, I, and it was very unsettling. Oh, no. It's the whole yeah, that So you got fun. ganged up on, then. Well. Do you yeah. not have a corner man, like a hype man or anything? Who I was the victim. That? I was the victim. <laughs> that's a good point, Danny. I hadn't put that together yet. Yeah, yeah. Think about that next time. It's that's physical intimidation. <laughs> I always, if I start getting, if I start getting family members interjecting and that kind of stuff during my games, I'm like, all right, am I playing against one person or two? I got to figure it out. Words sure that were said. Is... <laughs> Words that were said. I got to play against one person here, pal. Yep, one hundred percent. I did have a game of 40k where my opponent tried to tag out to someone else because he was getting too frustrated. Was that uh, Danny? Which, which I no, he usually just beats me when I like, turn three and then calls it good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Were they frustrated with normal things that people are frustrated with about 40k, or just specifically you? Uh, it was 40k based. It wasn't necessarily me. I was running Tyranids in sixth edition though, which were like obviously so overpowered that i had to bring like 15 different books and an ipad with the data slate on it to make it work yep. um but i just got yelled at about how it was op uh meta chasing garbage uh but that, yeah, that okay. was that was a fun experience yeah good times anyway moving All on right. if you uh danny maybe you can give us some context for this here uh could you define maybe for us when i say original invisibility what would i mean oh man uh that means snapshots and uh uh like only hit on sixes in close combat i think yeah so it was a very broken uh psychic power yeah. uh from six edition which made the game completely uninteractive not a lot of fun uh if it i was that to you say... probably played in europe and were emotionally and intellectually superior uh <laughs> that's fair or as they say, six months ahead. I think that's what they six months ahead. Yeah, <laughs> six months ahead. That's about streets it. ahead. Um, <laughs> Danny, if I was to say the term third edition Falcon, what oh, does yeah. that mean? To oh, you? so yeah, I actually know this one. Oh no, <laughs> much thinner, a lot more hair, yeah. uh, oh, less man. tired. Yeah, very strong. Um, really good at eating, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so uh, uh, Falcon, uh, it had a thing with its hollow fields, and it was mm -hmm. a it was a fast skimmer. So like, it would only take glancing hits, and you could only like blow it up on a six, and it would have to roll two dice and take the lowest one. It was like the most pain in the ass vehicle to kill in the entire game. Cool. So so, so uh, like, you have a good understanding now of what invisibility is, what a third edition Falcon is, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Which one would you most enjoy watching Danny have to play against three times at LVO? That's three the times. literal question. Oh. Well, yeah. a lot of people wouldn't have seen a third edition Falcon, or really an any edition Falcon. Um, people probably I mean, don't realize those aren't wave model. serpents. So I would say <laughs> the Falcon. Also, we all still really remember what invisibility was, and it sucked. Yeah. Danny, which would you rather play against three times in a row at LVO? Uh, probably the Falcon. Mm, yeah, invisibility guys was the literal worst. It killed it's pretty the terrible. Game. Here's a little thought um, experiment. Sure. Um, I know Danny loves it when I uh, interject, uh, but uh, <laughs> what I'm going to throw out there is when do I have at the, the uh, at the old finals. <laughs> at the old finals. I don't know why I'm talking like this either. It's the cartoon face. I think. At it's the, the finals for Games like, Workshop. Well, he's a method actor, Workshop, guys. He's just <laughs> slipping into character over here. The Games Workshop US <laughs> Open. Uh, they played AOS versus 40K. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I heard that? about that. 
No. Danny, no, I, I love that a, you didn't know that. Yeah. So no, I for whatever reason. I listening to the Honest War Gamers review of that game. <laughs> It wasn't on this shit. There was a moment when we were doing the coverage where it, it was almost one of the streams, and um, well, it, that didn't happen. I thought it was creative and interesting. Neat. Good idea, guys. Okay. GG. Also uniting the clans. We've got AOS bros. We got 40K bros. Why not have them cross the streams? Uh, anyway, I've thought about this concept, but taking the best builds across the editions and trying to mash them up. What do you think of that? It's pretty good. I mean, I feel like your that's second some, edition army gets just, you know, destroyed that's by... That's some next level shit right there. Model. Yeah. Don't Depends they have, like, how... vortex grenades and shit in second yeah. edition, though? Yeah, yeah for sure. I, was I think you'd have to... to go... Th third edition oh. as far back as you can go. Oh, it is so far back, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, why do Custodes think they're so special when they're just gold marines? Uh, that's the question. Uh, loristically speaking, um, I might be wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure they're not space marines, but some sort of janitor. <laughs> okay, the Servile Skull <laughs> voice. Yeah, why, why are you doing that voice? <laughs> well, it's, it's like, I don't know, why did Christian Bale talk, talk sort of like this? When he became no Batman, who I, I don't was know. Because, because that was his Batman voice. Like he's <laughs> yeah. Well, this is my Servile Skull voice, <laughs> and now I'm only gonna double down, even more. <laughs> you guys need to quit being jerks about it. Oh, it's going right. deeper. Uh, Danny, Danny uh, if you want to put on uh, a special, voice, that's okay too. <laughs> I'm gonna support you on that. Uh, what, what is your answer to the question? Why do custodians think they're so special when they're just gold marines? I dude, I don't know. They just they think they're so cool though, don't they? Yeah. What if they're and not? They gold? are janitors. No, no, they're not. They're army. Well, yeah, and like, I mean, I assume they're custodians, or like, you know. So yeah, they they have. Do they clean the palace, or does the servitor do that for them? They I do. Don't know. Yeah, it's they clean it's something up. Do they do you know? HVAC? <laughs> <laughs> Only after three generations of custodian HVAC school. I see. Be yeah, okay, <laughs> after they're certified, the yeah. <laughs> I get the sense there's not a lot of uh oh actually this would be discount reese gangsters <laughs> pair of dice Guys, this if is if i was going this, for a reese day, it's more uh, breathy val servo skull is also his discount reese and i will agree with that <laughs> it's a lot more breathy <laughs> now i can't remember um, what i was doing anyway that's fine let's move on hey Good. let's move to question from Cora, <laughs> which is there we go which is away from the the, the frontline gaming questions who would predators view Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines? Would they consider them too dangerous to hunt? Uh, no, I'm not making these questions any clearer for grammatical errors. What? Uh, who would predators view Warhammer 40,000? No, Space I, I Marines? heard you. I'm just. I'm would they to consider them too dangerous to like, hunt? Are we talking about like. Oh, oh but the alien predators, not like people predators. I think that's good, an important good point. For me. I don't think that's a, I don't like think that's a matchup predators. he's going to win. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if to catch a predator was hosted by a space marine, that would that would be that's watchable TV. Yeah, <laughs> guy shows Just up with a some, six pack of Smirnoff ice and a Walgreens bag to like some gross dude getting split in half by a chainsaw every week. That's all right. <laughs> and um, that's a show I want to see. Yeah, all these yeah. expressed in the show are the opinions of a uh, fictional floating head and not my own. Because there's a reason that it's the servo scout. I think like, the heat is affecting your decision making. <laughs> <laughs> um, Danny, I'm going to go to you now with another question from the Quora. In Warhammer 40k, a group of Harlequins discovers the remains of some craft world elder along with their spirit stone. What do they do with the spirit stone? I mean, I think they probably gather it up. That's fair. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I feel like they would be. You know, like they bring it to the next craft world they come across and like use it to barter or something. I don't know. How many spirit stones is it for like rations? Like, what's the barter system? <laughs> it's got to be at least like two artist souls plus a warrior soul. If it's not that, like, if you're not if you're not back on those kind of stones, then just get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's what's your artist warrior stone ratio, Val? What would you accept for say like I want passage? to this sector here 
but I only have 14 janitorial stones. <laughs> I only, I only, uh, paid attention to the question when it seemed to be we were making dick jokes again so that brought me back into it but i still don't really know what the topic is i think it's eldar yeah that's fair it is i can repeat the question Uh, it hurts me to read it out loud but i will okay cool as trell owens once said next question i love that i'm only here because i have to be god what a quote Uh, (laughs) he also said that's my quarterback my quarterback. Go ahead, Dave. Um, I mean, John. The, the Drakari are are very uh, very popular in this question line here. Okay. Uh, Danny, mm-hmm. this is another worryingly worded question. Okay. From Quora. How would the Dark Elder react if they found out that somebody successfully infiltrated Kamara and freed all slaves and escaped without them, w- escaped with them without the Dark Elder noticing it? I mean, I'd probably think that they thought it was a ripoff of Spartacus. <laughs> and I would be just imagine that. that they wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, why is there only seven people in Kamara now? Because isn't Kamara like hugely millions of slaves? Yeah, I think there's a lot of slaves. I think there's a lot of Dark Eldar too. But I, I don't know. Yeah. It would be weird. I guess it'd be quiet. Would they be yeah. mad? Or and would drop. they just try and get even? I don't know. Probably Who both. knows? Uh, yeah, Val, uh, if the Dark, uh, someone uh, rescued all those slaves Spartacus style from Kamara, yeah. and then they woke up, how, how do you think they would react? I, I, they'd, they'd probably be messed up, man. They probably need yeah. a discount code to some online therapy, at least. <laughs> but they would get a lot of pleasure from that pain of, of all that loss there. Depends on um, what turn it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's a good question for both of you guys. Um, this is back to our frontline gaming community here. When rolling 7d6 with full mm. rerolls, what is mm. the expected outcome when looking for a 3 plus? I'm just going to start with you, Val. Well, it's got to be in the, the, the sub, sub, sub 1%. I mean, 99999 You know what I mean? Very good odds. Okay, so we got very good. What's the expected outcome? Danny? What were the numbers? <laughs> 76. When rolling, three up. Seven, yeah, 76 with full rerolls. What is the expected outcome when looking for a three up? Oh, it's like, I don't know, like 88 point something percent. 70? No, that's that's just one. That's it's a, almost that's 89. A, that's a three up rerollable is an 88 percent. Yeah. Well, what? Sorry. The Yeah. But Seven. are you rerolling all the dice or just fails? Yeah. All the dice. Why would you. Sorry, then it's just sixty-seven point like seven percent. Like that is but the un- chance that you're going to roll more than a. Hold three on up. a second, one second here. <clears throat> We're gonna get Point of clarification. Yeah. Yep. For uh, sure. The question I'm as as I heard it was, mm-hmm. and I can say I can try and do this a little deeper. It oh was. My God. We're just no, gonna keep on. I won't. I won't. I won't. Next question. Next fucking question. No. 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 We're gonna trying make to roll talk three up on seven dice. Yes. Now, are you trying to get three like, up on successes? every single individual dice? Are you trying to get one result of a three plus? That's what I heard it as the first time. Or like, are you uh, just re-rolling the dice and we're looking at how many three pluses you'll get at successes if you roll it twice because it's the I'm same? I'm going to read this exactly as our amazing community wrote it very no. clearly, as no. we all know. <laughs> rules are fantastic here. Uh, when rolling 76 with full re-rolls, what is the expected outcome when looking for a three up? If we're looking for three up. So I think now, they're trying the, to get a three plus, right? Like, and but maybe they're just looking fails. for one. Maybe they, maybe they had a terrible scenario where they just woke up from the slave pits of Kamara, <laughs> and they, <laughs> in order, the slaves are gone. in order to get the the discount code, all they needed to do was roll <laughs> three up on seven dice once with re rolls, and then he didn't get it. And now the nope. only option this person has for the support that they need is to type things into Facebook chats and ask <laughs> questions of an animated floating head. That's, that's, uh, I'm Merry Christmas to you, whoever you are. When you lose all your slaves, that is your only option. I, um, I legit thought that Val was going to say you wake up for like the tournament from underneath the table, you roll out, you roll out, you start, start day two and you're like, no, nah, man, I can't do roll. it. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Um, 
Here's a fun one for both of you guys. But why make models? It's a good change of pace. What? Why make models? Yeah, that's the question. But why make models? Because, I don't know. It makes people happy, I guess. You guess or you know? You don't sound real certain about that. I don't know what's happiness, John. You, uh. I can't define your happiness. That's for sure. This is going a little uh. deeper than I wanted it to in this one. Here. Sounds- uh, why, but, but why make models? Well, I've thought about, I've reflected on this a number of times. <clears throat> Fair. Um, I perhaps it, it go speaks to some sort of uh, god complex or a desire to mm-hmm. uh, exert control over things beyond yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's just uh, like toys, an, an expression, <laughs> an expression of one's uh, most repressed desires to direct as a dismembered head a large force of futuristic gothic combatants i have to say i agree gangster's pair of dice uh, val's commitment to the voice bit is commendable i have to yeah. disagree it is uh, actually it says uh, not commendable no, no, but... i know i read that halfway through i'm like <laughs> I, I disagree it, it is got it him. is very commendable uh got you gotta him. stick to it there um danny if rebuke gulliman was able to harness Rebute. the power of the warp to travel back in time to save mankind from the ruinous powers, what would he order at Taco Bell? Oh man! <laughs> all right, all right. Again, I think, think I, I got this. I got this on community. lockdown. I know exactly what he gets. Go ahead. Go all ahead. right. No, oh, really? Okay. Tell me. No, I want to know. You've got it. Just like two Come plain on. soft shell tacos. <laughs> Just the blandest thing possible. And like, and like, fucking. <laughs> Those, uh, no sour cream even like that's no, too spicy no not supreme not supreme why are you can't what supreme. what is this guy custodian what's next this, this guy no way man come on have some pride <laughs> show some restraint man any sauce yeah no <laughs> no you nailed it dude that's perfect oh i don't know dude, is, yeah, is, is the soft shell an upgrade or is the hard shell an upgrade like i don't know which one's more spartan Probably it's the hard shell. Grade. I, no. Mm. Soft shell because he has like... a, his old teeth and gums. That's true. <laughs> so Worn old. out bowlers. <clears throat> oh, oh, I think this question. Dan, uh, by the way, Danny, did you have a better answer to that? Uh, if it was me, I would give up. But, but feel free. Uh, yeah, no, dude. I'm there. fucking done. That was perfect. Well yeah, done. That was perfect. Sort of hey, remember when I said I didn't know where all the questions are because it hit like randomly? This question says... Hi, my name's Bike Mrant, and I'm here to ask a couple of questions. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that was the entire question. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. Bike. So I guess in response, we'll be like, thank you. I didn't know that we had a lot of uh, listeners in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's... Wow. Biking, of course, a very popular form of transportation wow. in the Netherlands. Thanks that for was... that one out. appreciate that. Man, that was, a, yeah. that was, that was great perfect mm-hmm. oh here here we go and this is for danny this is for val this is for chat i feel this is inflammatory um this will get people going who is the worst primark danny uh probably corax really Why? Corax emo bird sucks, boy? dude Dude, okay, come on. Who leaves and says never more? Never and he's the more. fucking raven. It's the dumbest like exit of any Primark. I and he doesn't ever do anything. He just like walks around invisible and like whips people. Come on. I mean, that's just lame. Dude, the most important part of the Raven Guard gene seat is the hot topic membership. It's fine. <laughs> he's real edgy. I, are they a, what are they members only now, John? <laughs> yeah, they are. For the good stuff they are. Okay. So we have to get the real, like, what, racy, like, <laughs> like, you get the My Chemical plugs? Romance. In the 41st oh. millennium, you get the My Chemical Romance hoodies. You need a membership. That's just how it to is. To join the Black Parade, you're definitely going to need a membership. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, chat. Rogel Dorn can't read, apparently. Which oh, is be that's real. not true. What? <laughs> just... 
I mean, that's that's throwing some pretty heavy shade there, Fat Dango. Yeah. <laughs> How uh, are you no. been like what? <laughs> Prove him wrong. Roll, 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 call, you can't read. There's a. I'm 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 frantically looking for the one that sucks the most because I've I've. Uh, I don't know anything about any of this shit, but there's one guy who I ne- like had never heard of until recently, and he's got to be the lamest one. Because I I know the names of Conrad Curse. What the hell is that? Who's that oh, guy? Oh, no. come on! Don't I don't know. This is like bro, literally Daddy's favorite Primark here, right? I don't know if he's my favorite Primark, but he's up there. I uh, I don't know. I'm a big Lorgar fan, so <laughs> probably well, going to get a lot of hate for that. If I ain't heard his Am name, it's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> we've already tr- covered anger on yeah we have we have his anger is unmatched um again this is uh for for everyone who wants to respond here uh would you rather be an a val you might be biased in this question so i kind of know your answer already would you yeah. rather be transformed into a chaos spawn or a servitor oh it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty apparent i think i was gonna say it's pretty apparent, who said i anyway. chose this <laughs> Look at what they did to Go my voice. It. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Danny, would you in real life, like right now, if you could be turned into a chaos spawn or, uh, or like a servitor, which would you be and why? Uh, probably a chaos spawn. Yeah. Um, what, you don't want to be someone's like bed turner robot. No. And if I'm going to get made into a servitor, it's going to be for something really bad. So I'm going to be a really terrible servitor, like the Roto Rooter servitor or something like that. <laughs> I don't the know. The plumbing servitor? Yeah, the plumbing Whoa. servitor. Sorry, I was just Val, anyway, he, but at least the yeah, spawn is yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah. In, Val, you, you, uh, in your servitor skull head, uh, yeah. service skull head that you have there, would you rather be a, a service skull or, or a spawn? Uh,. Well, probably the servo skull because you are lobotomized for the most part, you know. You don't know what's going on, but to be fair, you're like magically, I'm oh, sorry, mathematically lobotomized when you're a spawn. Uh, so, so there's that. I don't too. know. You're probably but... trapped in there like some sort of waking dream, forced to like endure the horrors of whatever you yeah. inflict on people. Like it's some sort of messed oh up thing. Right? When did this some... become terrifying? That's that's that scary. Hey, Maybe you want to know terrifying? My ant rude video. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just Wikipedia real quick some stuff about Primarchs, and yeah. uh, oh, you yeah. know this Corvus oh, well, guy. Well, you're an expert now, so please go ahead. <laughs> this Corvus guy didn't really work out for him. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, I think uh, for seventeen of those Primarchs, it didn't what? really work out for them, right? The last monitor setting, of course, the Eye of Terror. He has since become mutated by the warp into a creature of darkness and shadow. Engage in a quest for vengeance against the demon Primarchs. Damn. He's just He's just Brendan Lee from The Crow. Ah, uh, well. God. Only one of those survived the ending. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Val, why are you stopping squats from coming back? Uh, well, uh, because I have an outsized influence on this world and hobby. So just watch yourself, <laughs> yeah. you know? You better be nice when you play a game against me. I'll straight up get your army canceled. That's right. <laughs> what, what Valentine you know, shared for you guys, the earlier You guys ever heard of was... something called AOS? That was me. <laughs> I was going to say what Valentine shared for the earlier story when he played his game against the kid who showed up with his whole family and coaches and like iPad rule checking. <laughs> that kid was playing squats. Yeah. That's right. The second yeah. not, he's not playing anything anymore. He's not playing anything anymore. <laughs> He's playing the sad trombone. That's what he's playing. Oh man, (laughs) better sad than rusty. Um, (laughs) uh, Such a gamesman. That's right, Danny. What is the worst smell you have smelled at a 40k tournament? Oh Jesus. Oh, oh man. Uh, This one's again. These all come from our (laughs) wonderful frontline gaming community. These great questions. I got something. Yeah. Yeah, Go definitely. Uh, there was a bathroom that I was at a pretty big tournament, and like the whole oh. thing got clogged, and like everyone oh. was still like it was the only one in there, so people were still using it. It was overflowing, and there was stuff on the That's floor. Not... It was like really fucking terrible. Was was that a, the the local store out here that isn't in our main town? <laughs> no, no, no. It was in a different state. 
Take me back to the slave pits. Yeah, there's a story <laughs> uh, from uh, from the ETC uh, of a similar nightmare scenario, but it was the entire oh, so weekend. I think it was when they were in Athens. Dude, well, their uh, nightmare smells are six months ahead of ours. So I mean, that's true. Really, that's true. by the time it gets to us, this rank. I will tell you, uh, mine uh, was very recent. Actually, I was I was running the stream at a at, a, at one of the opens, and um, Richard walked by me, and it was like <laughs> I had eaten a bite from a fart sandwich. It was oh. like someone I was crop dusted Thick point blank in the face, right between yeah. the eyes, <laughs> and it was it was. I usually I roll with it, you know, like I just, I, I, I just, you know, grin it, grin and bear it. You know, it's a, it's a 40 K tournament. People are gassy, but this case I screamed in terror. Also, I needed air. (laughs) There was not a lot of oxygen in that mouthful. Dude. It was a significant amount of methane. Yeah. 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 I will say for me, there's a there's a tournament, a local store where there is a table right beside the only bathroom in the store, oh. and I was playing on that table, oh, and man. one of our friends, who's a notable pooper, uh, went in there. <laughs> yeah, and then when he came out, he's a pooper's um, pooper. I uh, I almost forfeited the game. No, no. no fan because... turning on, door wide open. What's not that? a care in the world? Was there's, the there's bathroom? No... Inside of a house, or was this an outdoor? Uh, body it was. It was a bathroom inside the store. the oh. The bathroom goes directly into the playing area. There was no fan, uh, and it was winter, so all the other doors were closed. That's awful. And that's, uh... I, I almost yeah. dropped out of the tournament uh, round one. That's a brazen disregard for other people's uh, well being, comfort. Uh, I don't know. I I, I feel. I feel like I just can't do that kind of thing to people, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, for one, no. I don't have a digestive tract. Right. For two. Oh, that's right. It's evil. You're a skull. That's right. I'm a floating skull. Yeah. Don't forget <laughs> about that, John. We have to keep reminding people for the podcast version that you are Hence, a floating skull. the very good voice that I'm using for the character of the floating head. <laughs> can't wait for this five-star review to come in next. God, yeah, uh-huh. no kidding. We're coming guys, up on 36 oh, viewers live at the same time, guys. Just so why? You know. Why are you watching this anyway? Well, <laughs> what a great time to answer this question. Uh, wow. Obviously, Danny, as a player, uh, you host a show on the Frontline Gaming Network. Uh, Val, you're in charge of the entire Frontline Gaming Network, and you run streams. You do a bunch of, like of great things. This question here: Just what do I actually Go have on. to do to get banned from LVO? Being that, you know, no one here has any power or say in that. What do you have to do to be banned from LVO? Yeah. I know the answer to this. Well, uh, pro- probably something criminal. I don't know. what. Uh... I was going to say, could someone let Val know by, like, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. He's a flight to catch. Like, look at Salty John, slightly wrong. You'll be banned for life. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Or just like my looks. Or just sure. slightly fudge your paint score. He'll take great exception to that <laughs> yeah. and then harass you yeah, online for years about it. Yeah, definitely don't hide any of your models under the table after you purport to have painted have everything painted on the table for paint judge. Oh I don't God. know. Like I'm just throwing Wait. this out here, guys. I don't know how stuff like that doesn't just always happen. Like nine times out of ten, you slip yeah. a couple dudes extra on the table. Who's gonna know? No one's auditing, you know? You know? Wait, yeah. So someone actually was like hiding unpainted stuff when people would come by and then putting it back on. Yeah, no, it was just yeah. once he removed well, it, was, it from yeah. the tray, got it judged, and put it back on the tray. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Uh, and then thank you, Tamadoshi Express. The best way is to probably make fun of Kicker's voice in a podcast review. That is the the only way to get banned from the LVO. Uh, it's <laughs> is simple. it his voice I'm or just the front. cadence? I think it's I think it's probably more just the speed of the voice. I think it's his excitability. It re- it's really sham wow ish. Um, well, well, all right. To be fair, he nuts. eats a sure. lot of sugary breakfast cereal. So, like, his husband, yeah. 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 He's the chief of cereal. Do you think that the cereal bit is better or worse than I'm Nick Nadavati and I'm here to party? <laughs> oh, that's really hard. Because I run because the controls really bad. on both of those <laughs> things. And, you know. I feel like I I'm, I don't have any, you know. I feel like I'm out of control. I mean, to be that honest, that, 
I mean, that's but that's Nick, right? Like, <laughs> he's a gravy train I, with biscuit wheels, man. That's right. That's I think right. my only complaint about that one there is the with the I'm Nick Nanavati and I'm here to party, and then immediately proceeds to sit down for three hours talking about Warhammer. <laughs> I mean, uh, to his credit, if anyone can make like. He definitely seems like he's having a party. When, like him and him and Paul, they 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 go heavy. They're for sure. enthusiastic for a long period That's right. of time. That's right. Uh, now, if one of them gonna... farted in my mouth, though, I would retract anything <laughs> nice that I just wow. said. I don't know who the culprit, man. That that that, that toot was from the grassy knoll, dude. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> there was a third butthole. There was <laughs> there was a back and to the left. <laughs> Back, 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 to back to the left. Right. There's, There's a man with an umbrella. Back. Clint Eastwood jumped on the bumper and we sped away. It was very confusing. <laughs> that was a reference to In the Line of Fire, an early 90s Clint Eastwood vehicle. Uh, place where I got this accent from. <laughs> Good times. John, um, would you host the show? It's out of control. I, You're letting the inmates happen? run the asylum. Usually I have someone talking in my ear telling me to do stuff, and now it's just you talking <laughs> in my face to do stuff. Um, Without my mentor. <laughs> someone's saying, I don't know, but they both lasted longer than hating on Black Templars so hard GW sent you some. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, one, true, and two, Eldar are just awful and terrible, uh, and please oh. don't send me a new Eldar army. I also please don't fart in Bell's face. That was a yeah. that was a fun anecdote and not a challenge for future life. Um, here here's one a fun one. Someone asked, "Why did you steal my <laughs> you had?" What is the uh, uh, so this is a, a question about chat? What is the emoji separating fart in Val's face? There normally that would be a rocket. clap. Are those rocket farts. Those are rocket farts. Uh, That's what I saw. Fart, fart rockets. I, or is it a paintbrush? Maybe it's hobby themed. Oh no, it's a rocket. They're gonna rocket fart in your face. They're not gonna paint right. fart in your That's face. That's a high That's velocity right. fart. It's in a face. sound that describes the color brown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yep. That's fair. I'll be at. Well, I think this one's directed to you here. Why did you steal? <laughs> you hack. Why did I steal? I my did for this too, because you did as well. Well, I don't know if you're a fan of uh, of Rage Against the Machine um, or not. And like you listen to Rage and you think, oh man, this band's awesome. And then and then you're like, man, I want you know, this band is so good. And then you think you want more, but then when you get more, it's audio slave. It's kinda <laughs> like this show. <laughs> uh, That's the greatest insult I've ever been given. It's being called audio slave. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll I'll tell you this. I like that joke. That was close. When you use that again? Yeah, that was really good. That was, that was good. Uh, you know, when when things are made to go more corporate than they're used to being, sometimes you get audio slave instead of a good <laughs> bulls on parade. Yeah. I was gonna say it's all available at Hot Topic nowadays. That's all that matters. That's right, chat. Good job, Nurgle Matthew. Um, Daddy, rap. Back to to Cora. Uh, hmm. Can a commissar execute a Medicaid on a battlefield? I, I don't Are know. Are there good core questions? Like, is there anything like clever yeah, or interesting yeah, here? Yeah, like, yeah. did you just pick all the ones that came up, or did you? Was there any editorial? There was like, no. I mean, why was, would I editorialize yeah, wait, things? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Was there like you know just sit, you just you know just take what take what you get and leave the rest yeah, behind? You know. Sure. Yeah, that, that's the motto of the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll move on. We'll try this one. Let's try editorializing this one. Uh, what is the most over the top and crazy that has ever happened in the Warhammer 40,000 universe? Oh. How about tournament scene? That's more fun. I mean, just because you don't have as much of a knowledge of the Warhammer 40k universe. Yeah, it's all it's part of the universe, that. technically, I guess. Yeah. As I have okay. said. All 40k lore sounds like an eight-year-old breathlessly telling you what happened at recess. <laughs> That's so, the good one. Uh, you know, it's all pretty insane. Danny, take a swing at it though. Yeah, and then we'll ask the the modified one. Wait, okay, sorry. What was what am I what am I? Well, what is the most over the top and crazy thing that's ever happened in the Warhammer 40k universe? And then we'll uh, move on to tournament lore after that. 
I don't know, the birth of a god, like Slanesh becoming going into his existence, I guess. It's pretty over. I would say the stuff for me, the stuff that happened in uh I mean the Eldar are having such a wild and long lasting sex party that they <laughs> create a rift in the universe with their boning. Yeah. Uh that's pretty neat. Yeah. It's like one, jealous. <laughs> Two, pretty metal. Are you? <laughs> no. I don't want to create an evil god who eats everything. Uh, but then, to both of you guys there, then, what is the most over the top and crazy thing that's ever happened in the Warhammer 40k tournament scene? Uh, you guys have both been around a lot, seen a lot of crazy things. Yeah. Maybe change some names. The lore angle is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> god. Oh my god. You literally changed the question <laughs> to the tournament angle. Well, I feel like like we riffed on oh it. It was good. God. You didn't have to double back. You could have just you know used editorial discretion to move the conversation along at that point. No, I wanted to hear crazy tournament stories on the Frontline Gaming Network. By the way, Alveo 39 days away. 39 days. That actually sent a cold chill down my spineless spine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cold chill yeah, down your servo, receptors. That was a servile skull fit again. Phantom spine. That's right. Phantom, Phantom spine. spine syndrome. We can just move on, though. Uh, though we'll do that. In the Warhammer 40k universe, <laughs> Danny, uh, Gene yeah. Stealer's kiss is the way the Gene Stealer cult reproduces. And it kind of oh, popular. sure. Back in, back in second edition, you had orcs. Uh, Gene Stealer cult orcs. How does that yeah. work? Oh, yeah. Because they're mushrooms. They just Not in those days. More orcs. There were lady orcs in those days. Yeah, dude. Well, they just had they had boob squigs, right? Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I... but I'm... <laughs> yeah, like hair that's... squigs and then little things. Is that true? Tell me, uh, does manscape work on my beard squig? <laughs> Look, all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I can't necessarily mention it because you put in the style guide that we can talk about manscaped.com promo code Falcon yes. for free worldwide shipping and save 20% off. 100%. Um, can't do that. So and I, until I Manscaped starts battle, right? rolling out battle mats, uh, we're all right. And you don't want to touch those battle mats. Nope. That's all I know. No, nope. those are not. Especially no, not if they not have like static grass on them. Get That's not that. cat hair, yeah. Get away from that. Cool, that's Ash. Oh, no. <sighs> that's terrible. Mm. Net positive, oh. another two. We're, we're pushing 40 here, guys. Oh, my God. Why? Why? Oh, my God, stop. Just turn off now. Um, oh. Looks like I control the switch. <laughs> <laughs> so we keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have two more core questions that are awful. Great. Um, and then we'll finish with a wonderful 40k question. Okay. Um, the core cool. question here, if space Marines are so Stay. blindingly fast, like the uh, books say, right. being able to traverse 150 feet in half a second, that's fast. how come they can't just whoosh past an orc war boss while cutting his head off and ending a wah? Cause, uh, because like the orc guy goes, no, no, you don't move that fast. No, orcs, they 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 go so fast that they they just think it and it happens. That's that that's was why. clearly a nine inch charge. You rolled only rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, and a lot of these questions are written like uh eight year old. Chi Express has an excellent comment that I think deserves Wonderful. to be read. Well, yes, I saw that as quite go go ahead. Well, I was prompting you to read. <laughs> oh, but according to the style guide, I, I can only mention once per episode, manscaped.com. Uh, he said it's dense cover until you use manscaped code, uh, promo code Falcon. Oh, wow. And then it's light cover. That's or maybe cool. even just a crater. Who knows? You do what you want to do. It's, it's definitely not landscape. difficult terrain. Yeah, <laughs> it's not difficult terrain due to the ceramic blade. Uh, in Warhammer 40K, <laughs> are we. <laughs> I'd rather ever... trim in the bushes, but you done scorch the earth. <laughs> Classic. In Warhammer 40K, and you'll be thankful to know this is the last question from Cora. Uh, oh, are we ever given a reason why women are allowed to join the Imperial Guard? 
what what <laughs> yeah who cares no this is a literal question and someone else it was important I according mean, to them i feel there's a demographic of the warhammer community that have views like this uh, that they take to quora to share with people well it's just that person gets his head out of the the, the fiction and into the books in the real world where <laughs> Females serve in militaries across this planet, current day, and in history. And, uh, you're dumb, kid. I do also like that the Twitch chat has just uh, devolved into manscaping jokes. Uh, and that's my favorite thing there. Uh, two more uh, two more questions from our You said that was the last team. core question. I know. It was the last core question. We have two more from our frontline gaming community that I want to pull out here. Oh. Um, again, seeing as we have actually real no power or influence or anything at all, uh, will LVO be pulling Forge World units that don't have proof of purchase? Sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Don't you think that's a bit pedantic, guys? Come on. No. You don't think that's a bit pedantic? Like even I mean anywhere, literally any tournament. Any tournament was, on this planet. Um, I know. Place in Spain. That's no. fine. They had bigger <laughs> fish to fry. I wish they'd focused on those fish. But yeah. nonetheless, know. it is ridiculously pedantic. I don't care if it's a Forge World tournament being played on the factory floor of Forge World. No, I'm not showing you a receipt that I could have also just forged, guys. You, you know that, right? It's a lot like, easier to forge a receipt than it is to, like, <laughs> to forge get a, a model. half decent right. recast. Am I right? I mean, it's it's an absurd. If you it's have a, the ability to recast a Forge World model, I'm assuming you have a laser printer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's an it's an absurdity. Check for stop. You would the uh, Gargle Thunk <laughs> oh, actually. No. Gargle Thunk Take core samples. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. I mean, if it smells strongly of gasoline immediately, uh, odds are that's a forgeable model. You don't have to worry about it. Don't check for receipts after that. If you scratch the paint and it's a, let's say, very brittle, light gray plastic that causes blistering on your skin, don't question it. That's legitimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Especially if it's a stompa. Uh, yes. It's totally legit. Now, I brought that Last back week. from uh, the UK. I, I personally uh, carried the, the Gargle Thunk back to, back from the UK. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know they deliver, though, right? What? <laughs> He's like, you know Forge World delivers. You don't have to go pick it up. Well, then why are they checking all these receipts for it? Like, they, got, they can afford to deliver, but they got to check people's receipts? Unbelievable. Just got to wait until you get to the stage where it's like you get 10 points for being battle ready or for showing your invoices from frontline gaming. Um, that's not a thing. That's not going to happen. Let me point that out really quickly. That was a terrible joke. Um, last question for everyone here. And Tyler, you might have to do a little bit of editing on this one here just to make sure that nothing goes awful. Um, who is the weakest player in the game and why is it? <laughs> oh, are we talking well, physical stress here? Like physical strength? Because I can see I've that stood, being. I, I've stood beside. He's a large, scary man. He's a large man. He's got a heart of marshmallow. Oh, wow. Did you watch Ghostbusters 1? That guy was scary. <laughs> buff marshmallow man would be terrible. I think I got the uh, moral of that story wrong with the whole Stay Buff Marshmallow Man thing. I thought he was a friendly guy. Just misunderstood like a gigantic Edward Scissorhands. Or like a burning Val Servo skull. That's right. You know? Uh, Jenny. Weakest 40K player. Yeah. I mean, he can't even beat a list with a with a monolith in it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> he, Just... he did almost make the cut at the New Orleans Open, though. Yeah, look at that. That just shows me what a weak field. <laughs> 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 and I will say... After after a player of s caliber almost made the final final eight, uh, that event is no longer <laughs> happening in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think there's any such thing as a weak player because anyone who shows up to partake for you know nine to twenty oh, hours of God. their time playing Warhammer, that's a pretty cool thing. 
Good. They're gonna go yeah. back. I mean, that's an adjective you could use for sure. Yeah, it is. Well, if like, someone is farted and the doors are open and you're in Alaska, it's pretty cool for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the weakest player. That's just the grossest. Uh, just the weakest uh, anus. <laughs> Did we mention it's almost Christmas time, everybody? Yeah. That's why these Yule logs yeah. are burning bright behind me. Yeah, that's true. I did want to have the entire studio set on fire, but I was told uh, I requested it out with <laughs> I requested PM time. several animations. <laughs> <laughs> I, give, I don't know. I, th I thought this was pretty rad. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, guys, Any before we head off here, uh, any gigantic Christmas plans you guys are excited for? Apart from just hanging out with the family. And doing nothing. Yep, doing nothing is on the top of my list. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Just clinging in normalcy while we uh, ride this. Uh, uh, never mind, don't worry. Nothing crazy is happening out in the world. Everything's <laughs> normal and fine, and we don't have to change anything that we're doing. We just carry on normally and uh, don't adjust anything. We're fine. My favorite Everything's thing cool. There's nothing going is... on. Uh, stock market's fine. World's fine. Everyone's fine. Don't worry. Uh, everything's cool. Ignore the burning logs behind me. It's not some sort of, the, the funniest thing some about sort of metaphor of for the current climbs. The them, yeah. um, you know, just focus on what yeah, you can just... control, which in our case are tiny miniatures that we use uh, to further our uh, weird god complexes. Because I invented that idea earlier in the show, and I thought I'd call it back for some reason. Yeah. Also, uh, someone asked. I'm just not going to challenge it. No. <laughs> someone, someone asked, uh, what's the best game store to play in Toronto? Uh, the answer is there isn't one. Uh, that's, that's real, sad. actually. In this, in the, in the, really? in the, within city limits, there's, there's a couple smaller stores, but for the most part, there aren't really any. So you have to go outside the city. My, two, my three favorite uh, would be Critical Hit out in the Oshawa area which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you got X Planet in Mississauga, and then out in Georgetown, Georgetown, you've got uh, one run by my friend Cody. Um, damn it. Which I know you didn't say was your favorite. Uh, they're all, like, annoyingly far away, run by wonderful people. So that's kind of, that's kind of what it is. It's like, yeah, from where I am. I mean, if you live near any of those places, Hobgoblin Cafe? Why am I blanking on the Is name it of that Hooded store? Hooded Goblin. Hooded Goblin. Thank you. How do you know the name of a store in Georgetown, Ontario? I don't know. Don't worry about it. I think I'm friends with Cody on Facebook. So yeah. Anyway, it's a great, great store. Yeah. I'll I'll run by three awesome entrepreneurs, people who go into this hobby business, crazy people. So they're fantastic. Yeah. Especially they in downtown of... Toronto, where I imagine the rent on a hobby store would be. That's why um, they don't exist. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So we got to drive for 45 minutes. Your, your hang out with cool people. Be, uh, three days long as everyone shares half of one table to play their games individually uh, to make the space happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there are two. Actually, there are two. There are two within city limits. One is in a, I'd say, pretty damp basement uh, called the Sword and Board. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, one That's time I went down there on Magic Night. Damp basement? It's damp. It's damp. You're not allowed any food in case you attract the rats. Oh. And that's real. Um, okay, cool. One time I made the mistake in going down there on magic night, uh, and I got to the bottom of the stairs, and I could only describe the environment as humid. <laughs> it was just the loaded. Smell it, was, of it was basement it was of broken dreams. <laughs> it was packed in there. And the only person whose, whose eyes I kind of caught were, was a guy wearing a shirt many sizes too small. Oh, and a no. Mickey Mouse hat. And I thought, Hi. I got to go. I got to get out of here as fast as I can. <laughs> and I did. But and then I became a floating skull. You knelt down behind him, placed your hands together like that in front of the crack, and took oh. a picture, inspiring <laughs> a generation of memes. Oh. Man, it was close in there. I don't know how you could get on one knee. It was scary. Anyway, that's sword and board. If you, if you need to, you can go there for sure. It's the lovely people <laughs> run it. And they, God bless them. God bless them. They run yeah. a tabletop gaming store in downtown Toronto. Like that is basically impossible. They're the only ones that do it. You want to make, you want that to be a thing. You're going to have to deal with some black mold. No, there's no black mold. There's no black mold. Wow. I'm slandering oh, people. Really powerful magic wow. card. To understand. 
Um, I was going to say, uh, yeah, Val's <laughs> review of that store is run by lovely people. Go there if you have no other option. Look, uh, else get the black lung. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to actually get in trouble because I spent a lot of time there. And yeah, <laughs> shoot. So Look, now Val literally I think has they would level. I think, I think anyone there would be like, yeah, asshole, it's a dank basement. What do you want? You want to play somewhere? This you got the basement. This is what you got. Uh, this is my uh, complaining? Temidachi Express. Temidachi Express in chat here. Very good callback here that I should have picked up way sooner. Uh, that's one way to get banned from events for the guy who did the butt crack pictures for Magic the Gathering got banned. Uh, so I guess inappropriate pictures at LVO would be the best way to get banned. From oh, that. no. <laughs> Definitely yeah, something else to do. Pictures, yeah. I did that at an RTT once. <laughs> <laughs> I still have that picture. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's I, mean, I think the, the, uh, the commitment to the bit with that particular guy is phenomenal. But also, I mean, just his photo composition, whoever he had working oh, with him was excellent. Dude, his, it was oh, that's like my favorite thing. He does a, just a bang up job with it. And, I, and you know, he, I think he's right up there with the guy playing Crute blocking the Tau dude from coming on the, <laughs> on the table. Those two guys somewhere in the early 2000s just created legends for themselves. It's true. Well, here we go. Since we kind of gone on here, uh, what is the next memeable 40k picture from a battle? Like we've had that line of crude stopping the infiltrators. Like we had the, you know, prayer hands for magic. Well, we even had three repulsor executioners up on a ruin from mm -hmm. one of our local guys up oh, here, yeah, Danny. That was great. Um, the 3D printed uh, Caladius tank. <laughs> yeah, the, the, blue the neon turrets. green turretless 3D oh, yeah. printed Caladius yeah. tank. That was nice. <laughs> With like one to two millimeter layers, the thing looked like Rip it was made of Lego blocks, like pleasure. a stepped yeah. pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Duplo produced forty uh, k. Um, but yeah, so what is the next memeable thing you guys expect to see? Uh, How do you well, even I mean, predict something like that? Um, the most recent, so I can do it and, and become famous off of it. <laughs> the most recent memeable thing that. I think happened was had to be uh you know the oryx one with the people freebooters freebooters and planes and stuff that that was ridiculous when i looked at the table and sean naden <laughs> sean oh. naden was deploying for some reason and like the uh, literally the other quarter of the table was filled like there was like nowhere to go like nowhere left in that table quarter because all the bases are so big yeah anyway um, that was pretty Mimi. Me, me, me. Yeah, I will say we need to get more imagination in our meme list names. Uh, Thick City, not imaginative. Uh, like Ultra Memes, not not great. Yeah. I feel like they're all just them. made up by Innis Wilson, and he's the only 40k player on Twitter, and that's just how we wind up with him. No, well, he's he's uh, going off against like Thick Nids. He why. doesn't like that one for the new big nids. Uh, he just likes Nedzilla, which is an old, old one. It's we can do rock. better. It's been a wrap. Do better, community. Come up with names for things. Uh, tweet at Ennis Wilson uh, and let him know all of your terrible ideas and just deluge him. But anyway. Certain board, though. Great place to play. Uh, you're going to love it. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, get off a of Dufferin Station. Um, yeah. It's Buy awesome. all of Next to a pizza stuff. pizza. You want to get a hot slice. Can't take it with you. But, yeah. you know, finish it up. <laughs> go go for it. Over his, uh, excellent selection of used models, which you can also find at the uh, Frontline Gaming uh, Secondhand Shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, looks like someone's got on a plane and about to get their nose bitten with a plug like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's a callback, Craig. Yeah, that that's was another John. callback. Man, that was another you're wrapping one. it up, John. I like what you're doing here. I, I am. I'm wrapping it up here, guys. We've had. That's okay, actually how I got this way, but continue. It's it's pretty good. Uh, we, uh, thanks, Val, for, for coming on and asking yeah. uh, like, ridiculous questions from Corey. Thank you from the Frontline Gaming community for asking us ridiculous questions. Thanks for starting us off strong with a good old, you know, jism re related question. Uh, and then kind of moving away. Uh, I like this form. We'll probably do it again with some other people here. Uh, just what? most ridiculous questions we can. Val, you were saying. No, no, you just said other people. I just thought, you know, maybe it'd be a. You know, a bit or like a reoccurring thing, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. I can 
go back to what I was doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, we're gonna have you back on now. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You literally control our fates of actually being here every Yeah, Richard week. spent so much time on this asset, there's no way we wouldn't use it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do you, the pre-show. I'll just I'll just do a little soft shoe in the pre-show. You, no, 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 we're gonna have we're gonna have Val back on uh when we can do the left right flip. So that's entirely in Richard's hands. I'm turning my face from there. But this is I just um, go back and forth. Look at me. I'm turning my head right now. What am I doing? I'm just floating um, like a uh, dummy. Tomodachi Express uh, says, so Reese next week, uh, we're going to say, no, no, I don't think that's an AMA I want to host at all. Uh, don't worry, I got this. I think what oh, we just man. need to do is make a Reese puppet and just have uh, Val voice it for the entire it's thing. It's just a forehead on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's just a selfie picture. Hold on, hold on. Can I do it? Can, oh I, can I get low enough? Oh, I can't. <laughs> guys uh have a wonderful christmas get lots of warhammer things uh spend some time with your family friends uh and kind of just relax enjoy yourself it's going to be this saturday obviously I'm, i don't know why i'm hyping it like an event but sure we'll go from that uh, <laughs> have a great boxing day which is something i don't get to wish people over here i don't think um, anyone says happy boxing day man i didn't say happy boxing day I told you have a great boxing day <laughs> You look at me when you say that. You look at me when you say that. Um, and then we will be back. What's up? No, no. Continue. Continue. <laughs> we will be back next Monday uh, to have more of this kind of uh, quality content that you've come to know and love. Uh, thanks for everyone for spending your time live with us every Monday night on the Frontline Gaming Network at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we will see you next Monday. Ha-ha! Now, how you like me now, buddy? <laughs> Damn it, you looked at me. <laughs>